guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you an updated tour of my free room area and I will show you how I have put together the toys that I am currently using in the free room area. We had this big square box laying around that I wanted to use as a base for a free roam contraption. So here you can see me stabbing a piece of honeycomb cardboard that I will incorporate in the whole thing. And I am doing this so I can put some treats in there. I want to use this as some kind of extra level. So I am just measuring out how I am doing that and adding some toilet paper rolls to support the overhanging part. I'm using non-toxic glue sticks to make sure that when my rats would eventually nibble it that it wouldn't be dangerous for them but I do advise to keep an eye on them at all times when you're using these kind of toys that you used hot glue on. And this is kind of what it looks like when I put the first piece together with the cardboard box. I wanted a little closed off area for some extra foraging material. So I'm just measuring out pieces of cardboard and then gluing the one in place that I wanted. I also wanted to add some kind of bridge to elongate the platform, so I made that out of popsicle sticks. And using cubes from kitchen towels, I added them to the platform and the cardboard box. To fill up some of the remaining open spaces, I just added some normal toilet rolls that I will also use for foraging. And as you can see, I also opened up one side of the box for a more easy entrance. Okay, I'm ready to fill up this big boy I made yesterday. And I'm gonna start with the cardboard slab that's on top, so I'm gonna put some yummy treats in the holes. Right here I have pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, rice krispies and some mealworms. Make sure that you don't give too much mealworms especially if your rats are older than six months old as too much animal protein can be bad for their health. So just use this in moderation. This is ideal for smaller treats. You can really hide them in there and they have to work to get to them. I also like to put some treats halfway in there so they actually know that there's stuff in there and it's um, just encouraging for them to start ripping this open. That's a good start for this piece. Then I'm moving on to this piece where I made like a little barrier and the goal for this was to make it a bit more interesting foraging wise. So I'm gonna use some shredded paper and put that over here. I think this will do for now. And then again, adding some treats in there. All right, then we're moving on to the tubes that I've put here. And my plan for these was to get some packing paper and then like squeeze in a bit some treats then squeeze in some more and put some more treats I have already used this technique with other toys that I made out of toilet rolls and stuff and I also have a video about that on my youtube channel so you can check that out if you want to see more ideas like this and of course all of those toys are perfect to use as free roaming toys as well 
another very simple and very cheap uh, toy I like to make for free roaming is just using a paper bag. This is one I got when I ordered clothes. And then take some packing paper. And I like to scrunch this up a bit. And open it up again just to give it some more volume. And then you just place all of this in the paper bag. It doesn't have to be neat. And sprinkle some treats in there. And there you go. It's really as simple as that. And they will go in this bag and have lots and lots of fun, trust me. It may be a bit hard to tell on camera, but it really is time to change out this dig box. There's also little flies in here and there's like little sprouts from pieces of food that they left in here. And I didn't water it the last couple of days because I knew I was going to change it. So it became really dry as well. So let's just dump this out and get some new soil in here for them to play with. I'm using the same cocoa peat bricks I did last time. So let's add water. I chose really hot water this time. Maybe it will break them up a bit more easily. And now we let this marinade for a bit. I'm gonna dunk them under completely. And this was the result after about 20-30 minutes and just breaking it up a bit with my hands and it was a little bit too much water this time as you can see I can fully squeeze it out all right so I've put the dig box in a heated area overnight to get the excess moisture out of it and the soil is still quite wet but it's way better than yesterday and it will be totally fine for the rats to dig in it already. So I'm just gonna add some treats in here as well. Not too much as they already have a lot of other options for the moment. Put them hidden in the soil. And that's ready to go too. They're already waiting to come out and play. They smelled all the yummy treats and heard all the paper bags rustling so... <laughs> They are really excited already, but just one more minute guys, gotta set everything up for you. Alright, the setup of this free roaming area is complete and I just wanted to quickly give you a little overview of how it looks. So of course in this corner we have my contraption that I showed you how I made it and set it up. A bit further I just have a snuggle sack and some toys together with a little hideout and a blanket. Then here right in front of the cage, of course the doors will open, I have the ladders to go down and their dig box with some treats in there. If we go to the left side of the cage, I have a little cube hideout in that little space over there. Just a cardboard box for them to crawl into. You can see it's already peed on. <laughs> then a tube that leads them to the bag filled with packing paper and snacks we just set up earlier and then if we turn around you can see that i just have some more toys and hide out places and i'm still using this cardboard contraption that my fiance and i made so yeah that's how i have set up the free roaming space for now and i think it's about time that we open these doors and see if they want to come out and play <laughs>
and that was it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more ratty content and we'll see you in the next video bye